Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have four different angles here and we are using a protractor. So protractors are these tools that we use to measure angles just like we use a ruler to measure length. And so we need to find the angle that is closest to 95 and let's see if we can at least anchor ourselves and what we know about angles. So there are three different types of angles that we have learned about right, obtuse, and acute. So everything starts with this right angle. Our right angle is 90 degrees. It is a square corner. Usually we can see it and we could put a little square in there. So think of a corner of a square. So an acute is anything that is going to be less than your 90 degrees. So less than 90 and it's going to be usually, you know, something that looks like that or it can be just a little bit less than 90 or it can be microscopic. And then obtuse is anything greater than 90. So it could be just a little bit bigger than 90 or it could be like huge, kind of like that. So we are dealing with 95. 95 is greater than 90. So it's going to be obtuse, but that 90 it's pretty close to 95. So I'm thinking it's going to be something that kind of looks like this maybe. Just a little bit above 90. I don't think it's going to be anything like really big like that. So eyeballing it, we can look, I mean, take a look at D. D just looks ridiculous. D is an acute angle. And so we know that's not going to be it. Let's just take a look at D. Let's start by eliminating that. And so here's what we did here. So if we were to look on the outside, right between 90 and 100, if we're looking the outside, here's 95. So that's on the 95 right there. And then if you were to look on the inside, right there, you would also see that it's between 100 and 90. So it looks like those are both 95s. But that's not how it works. You need to pick the outside or the inside. So if we pick the outside, this is from 95, and then on the outside, this is from 85. So what's the difference between 85 and 95? Well, that's a 10 degree angle. That's why it looks so tiny. It is one of these acute angles. It's like that one right there. Very, very small. So D is not it. B looks a little bit less than, look at, here's your 90 right here. It's just a little bit smaller than that. So it looks like an acute angle, just barely. So let's just go ahead and measure. We've got zero. And since we've got a line on the zero, we're just going to use this right here. We're going to count 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, almost. It's right between 80 and 90. It's that 85 degrees. So this is an 85 degree angle. It's right, right below a 90 degree right angle. And the reason why this is a, an incorrect answer is because if you look on the inside, right, here's your 90 and here's your 100. This is 95 on the inside. But if you wanted to do that, you'd have to have that line going out this way. The inside starts from the right. The outside starts from the left. So close. So we're down to A or C. So let's start with A. We've got, we'll use the outside and the inside just to show you how it works. So I've got 40 to 50. So on the outside, that's 45. And this is between 140 and 150. So that's 145. So if I wanted to subtract those two, I'd get 145 and 45, and that's, oh, that's going to be close, but that's 100 degrees. It's like five degrees more than I need. On the inside here, I've got 35 between 30 and 40, and then I've got 135, and once again, 135 minus 35 gets you 100 degrees. So let's hope it's C. It starts at a zero on the right. It goes on the inside. So I'm going to look up 70, 80, 90. There we go. It's just a little bit past 90. It's that 95. And so that's what we're looking for. Something that's just, it looks like a right angle, but it's just a little bit larger. And that is definitely because there's your 90 right there. So our answer here is C.